the purpose of this video is to show you the steps to submit electronic exhibits to the court for trial using the sharefile application if electronic exhibits have been ordered in your case this video will walk you through the steps on how to do so all of the information that we are covering today can be found at our superior court clerk's website by clicking on documents to the clerk and electronic exhibits the first step in the process of sharing electronic exhibits is to please send an email to one of the following email addresses. This will start the process. Please do note that there are different email addresses for both Seattle cases and Kent cases. In this email, we ask that you please include the case number and the caption, the participant role that you have on the case, such as plaintiff or respondent, this gives the information to our exhibit room to start the process and to send you a link to the share file application. Once you have sent this email, within two hours of receipt, you will receive a responsive email that includes the link to the share file application and to the folder for your case. If this is the first time that you are using the share file application, you will be prompted after clicking on this link to set up a share file account and then you will have access to your case folder. Your case folder within share file looks something like this. Share file is a web-based application. You will see that it also is very clear and has the case number and the caption and is ready for exhibits to be added to the folder. You can simply add your files here by dragging and dropping. Please take note, most files upload fairly quickly, but larger files may take a few moments. You'll see here that we named the exhibits using the exhibit number, followed by the participant role on the case, followed by the title of the exhibit. Here you'll see Exhibit 5, Plaintiff, and email dated April 11th of 2018. The naming convention is critical to this process and should follow the joint statement of evidence. If the exhibits are named improperly, this may be cause for the exhibits to be rejected and asked to be re-uploaded using the proper convention. Once all of your exhibits have been added here to your folder, that completes the process. Do take note that this shared folder within the share file application is the folder that will be used by you, by other parties in the case that have been ordered to submit their exhibits electronically, and it will also be used by the court during the course of trial. Again, all information that we covered today is outlined here on our Superior Court Clerk's website. And any questions that you have, please feel free to direct them to these same email addresses, and we can help you with any questions you may have.